We're just warming them up right now. Uh, this is actually a drill we do quite often. Uh, we call it the UCLA drill. And um, normally it's timed, so that adds a little pressure. And so uh, the drill has three parts to it. Uh, coming across the lane, coming across the lane to uh, finish a layup. Front of the rim shot, which is really tough. And then uh, good footwork at the top to attack the rim uh, for, the, for another layup on the other side. And so uh, we give the kids six minutes and they have to go uh, 30 in a row one side, 30 in a row on the other side. And so early in the season, okay, it's a lot of pressure because they've got to hit their layups. Otherwise, if they don't get the drill completed in six minutes, we have to do a little bit of conditioning and practice. So uh, are we on the second side now, guys? We got that first side done? Okay, so when they're doing the drill, so here they're doing their normal left hand layup on the other side, cut across. They got to get 10 in a row, then they're going to go front of the rim. Let's try not to bring the ball down, guys. Keep it high, keep it high and finish. Keep it high and finish. Okay, we're going front of the rim. Okay, this is a tough shot, front of the rim. Okay, uh, we did some video analysis of shots that we missed in the game, whether it was attacking the rim, uh, or getting an offensive rebound and that front of the rim shot is uh, is a tough one so we try to practice as much as we can so that we can see some success with time okay guys stop okay um, normally I would time you guys but uh, we're, we're on crunch time now and I know these guys these guys are waiting for the 430 draw for the Vegas trip <laughs> And just to let you know, I put my name in there 10 times, because I'm going. <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to do drills uh, that are game-like, applying and breaking game pressure, okay? Um, you know, I can talk about pressing a team full court, whether it's full court man or zone. Uh, I'm gonna take parts of the game. I'm trying to keep it simple so that even coaches with young teams can utilize these drills, okay? So the first drill we're gonna do, uh, let's do our um, run and jump drill, ball handling, yep. Okay, so this is a drill, there's two parts. There's always gonna be two parts to the drill. The first is applying the pressure and the second is breaking the pressure. So before we begin, I'm just gonna explain quickly what we're doing. Um, I have uh, I have one of my guards starting with the ball and she has pressure right away so she's being guarded as she moves the ball up the floor okay and so the part where we're working with pressure is pressure on the ball okay the second part is the jump teaching players to jump the ball because we do run a full court run and jump defense or a trapping defense so when uh, Britt's coming towards Megan and Faith is guarding her, okay, right now Megan's working on jumping the ball. Okay, so we talk about chest on ball. Now the part that uh, Britt's working on is breaking the pressure. Okay, so she's actually gonna back dribble out of the trap and then she's gonna change her pace or change direction and go the next, to the next jump. Okay, and it's a continuous drill. Okay, we're not going one-on-one -on -one girls, just do the run and jump and work on our ball handling. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have kids who are active right now, handling the pressure of the jump. So their heads should be up, seeing the jump happen, using the back dribble to get out. So this is a continuous drill that we created so that we can not only work on our jumps, but also work on our dribbling. Okay, and stop. Stop. Whoa. Okay, good. So let's just back up, go back to your spots. Good. So a couple things. Um, who's dribbling down here right now? Who's got the ball, Peyton? Good. Okay, so Taylor's on Peyton, and Taylor's working on forcing. 
Okay, so we have enough pressure on the ball to force the ball up the sideline. And this is part of our full court pressure that we do work, work with. Okay, so Taylor's pushing Peyton into the jump. Now, for uh, Sean, what I want her probably to work on as we're doing the drill is staying back, staying back, being active, and then getting ready to jump the dribble. Okay, again, chest on ball, okay? Peyton, as she's breaking it, she's seeing the trap come. She's really using that back dribble with her head up, okay? Changing direction and then picking up the pace again. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Good, lots of talk now, lots of talk. Here we go, jump, jump, jump. Lots of talk. Good, jump, jump. Good, lots of talk, lots of talk. Good. Okay, and stop. Okay, now we're gonna add the progression. Okay, we're gonna go one on one. So we go jump, exchange, jump, exchange, jump, exchange on the last one, live one on one. Okay, here we go. Good, head up, head up. Good. Stay low, stay low, Sky, stay low, Sky, stay low, stay low. Stay low, stay low, Katie. No reaching. Good, switch it, good. Stay low, Taylor, stay low. Good, and stop. Okay, good, and stop. So this is just an active full court drill that we do use. Um, you can get a lot out of it. Okay, uh, but applying the pressure would be getting your kids to learn how to jump, okay, in the full court pressure. Okay, breaking it would be learning how to recognize that the jump's gonna happen and how to deal with it, okay? And, you know, the piece going one-on-one -on -one to finish, okay, a great drill to work on one-on-one -on -one defense and scoring. Okay, good, good job, guys. Okay, next up, let me find my sheet. Here it is. Let's see. We're gonna do, okay, let's come down here. Um, Megan, where's Megan? Megan, you're on the wing. Um, give me another veteran carry. Okay, and the ball here with Tay. Okay, so we're just gonna do a simple drill and I'm gonna put them in sections on the court to utilize the whole court. So defensively, we're working on denying the wing on the strong side. So the ball's on the strong side. Okay, I want Tay to be in line with the wide key. Okay, so I have Carrie working hard denying the wing entry. Okay, what I'm asking uh, Megan to do is take her down to the block. So Carrie's seeing the ball, seeing the ball and changing her angle when she defends the wing. And then as Megan's coming out, Carrie's working on denying we don't, uh, when we deny players on the wing, we actually don't deny them close. We open up our triangle so there's space because we want to go through the pass lane to steal. So that's what Carrie's working on so she has the good footwork for a deny. Megan has to get two feet outside the three-point line and then she's working on her back cut and Taylor's working on her pass to the edge of the board. So I get a lot out of this drill. Okay, we're denying the wing, tough. We got good footwork, okay? Carrie's changing her angle as she comes out, okay? And then we're working on that backdoor cut. Okay, here we go. Let's use all the sections, guys. Okay, let's talk, deny, deny, deny. So I'll focus on this group right here. Um, one of the things that's really important uh, as a passer, active passing. So when, when the ball's at the top here, for example, Megan's gonna be an active passer. She's gonna show the ball for that backdoor cut. Okay, a good ball fake. And then our target for our passers is the edge of the board. We don't want them passing right to the person. Okay, we want them getting a target. We wanna catch the ball high and finish, okay? See the ball, see the ball, Faith, see the ball. Good, back cut. 
Okay, Sean, make sure you get two feet outside the three-point line. Okay, two feet outside. Good, two feet outside. Good, target hands. Good. Good. Deny that right out to the passing lane. Lucy, change your angle as you come out. Don't be close to her. Okay. Okay, so the pressure part, applying the pressure, we're denying that wing entry. Okay. Then you're teaching your players how to break it. Okay, anytime you're overplayed on a cut outside, okay, back cut. Okay, good job, guys. Well done. Okay, the next one. Um, let's go uh, carry here and Megan defend. Uh, Tay on the wing and Sean defend uh, Taylor. Okay, and uh, Sky go in the post. Okay, I've done some modifi modifications since we, we talked about what we might do in the presentation, so this is actually good for them because I'm teaching them live right now. Okay, so we're going to work on uh, trapping and then passing out of the trap. Okay, so when the ball goes from Carey to Taylor, right now I'm going to send Megan in to trap the wing. So we're working on a trap entry. We actually do this out of our match defense. Okay, so we send the guard down to trap. Okay, the focus on the trap is toe to toe. Okay, active arms, hands up, no reaching. Okay, so we've applied our pressure. We've trapped a wing entry. Okay, so Sky, I want you staying in the post. You're an offense. Yeah, and then carries here. Okay, so once the ball's trapped, okay, so we're working on setting a good trap. Taylor now has to make a decision how she's coming out of the trap, how she's going to pass that ball, whether it's to, to be to our post or to carry. And we talk to our players about different ways to pass out of a trap. Okay, I'm assuming right now she has no dribble. I don't want, to ha want her to have a dribble. So I'm going to give her options. I want her either to pivot and make a pass to either carry or sky. So she's got to use that pivot and be active with the ball. Okay, many players when they get trapped, they do this right away. Okay, we actually want to encourage our players to be active, whether it's sweeping uh, or pivoting back. Okay, another option would be if you get trapped to split the trap. So if she can step through, if it's tight enough, she can see her passes. Another option is to hook over. Okay, so we give them those three options. Once they get trapped, they can make a decision and she can choose to pass to either Sky in the post or to carry back at the point. Okay, you guys are ready to go? Okay, you guys ready to set it up down there? Okay, Lena and Faith, you can sub in here or watch. Okay, good. Rotate and do it again. Good, trap, trap, trap. Toes, toes on the trap. Good, and rotate. So these are live situations. We want to, this happens in a game, you get trapped on a wing, you gotta teach your players to come out of the trap. Okay, and how to pass out of the trap. Good, switch it up. Good, toe to toe. Good, pivot. Now, uh, what I would like to see when you get trapped, let's take three or four seconds longer in that trap to make a decision to pass. Okay, let's really feel the pressure. So trap, 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 feel it, take your time. Take your time, Sean. Take your time, read, read. Give them the opportunity to think through and process what they're doing. A lot of kids get trapped and they're shocked, right? And they turn the ball over. So you gotta give them opportunities to practice and learn. Okay. Okay, let's get a couple more in. Good. Take a look. Take a look, Carrie. Take a look. Good. Take your time. Good. Read. Good. What do you have? Good. Good hook pass. Good. Excellent. Okay, well done. Let's stop there. Okay. Uh, let's come down to this side of the floor. So give me uh, Megan with the ball. Uh, Carrie defend, uh, Taylor at the hash mark there, Sean defend. Okay, now another trapping area would be across half. Okay, so Megan comes down the court as she crosses, just crosses. I want 
there to be a jump or a trap. Okay, just at that, because this is like the defense, right? This is like a third trapper. Okay, now she definitely doesn't have a dribble. She has to look at her options for getting out of the trap. The fourth thing to add now, if it's really tight on the sideline, so that you inch over, is teaching your players to go off the foot, not a bounce. <laughs> ah, and they have to practice it. Okay, so we're gonna run this drill going this way, guys, and then let's have it go this way. So the trap would be just across half. Okay, so, yeah, ball's there. Let's start with the ball inside the volleyball court. Okay, so Lucy, you take it. Who's guarding Lucy? Lucy, come over here. Yeah, more space. Someone has to be there. Yeah, good job, Kaylee, off, off the court. Good. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Britt, grab that ball. Grab that ball. I don't want you guys falling on that ball. Here, I'll take it. Good. Okay, lots of talk here, guys. Let's go. Steer him in, steer him in, jump. Good. Good, take your time and read. Okay, there's no rush. So all I'm trying to do is put him in situations, okay, where this might occur. Okay, in a game. And teaching them those options to come out of that pressure. Okay, especially the one where you're practicing going off the foot and out of bounds. Okay. I've seen many times where coaches will yell out on the floor to their kids, go off the foot, go off the foot. But they have no clue what you're saying. Okay, so let them practice it. Let's, let's do both groups. Let's go off the foot now. Let's get trapped and let's just go off the foot. Okay. Okay, be low, be low. Okay, hold up. So it's really important, okay, I want to have good habits here. If I get trapped, come and trap me, okay? I don't want the kids upright, okay? I want them to sink, okay? And they actually have to physically take that ball and go off the foot and out of bounds, okay? They can, you know, they don't have to throw it hard. Guys, sink, get down. Okay, here we go. One more minute. Force her in. Good, trap, 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 off the foot. Good. Good, head up, head up, head up. Good, trap, 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 good. Off the foot, ooh. Back in bounds. Steal the other way. Good, try to go off the foot. Britt, right off the foot. Follow through on the foot. Good, trap. Good, off the foot. Good try. Okay, and stop. Okay, so, you know, you can see that this is something you do need to practice, okay? If you, you're getting trapped by a team that you know, I know, I believe in the community level, there's no trapping, but, you know, junior high, high school, teaching it's important. Okay, we're now gonna go to a full court drill, okay? Just so that we can show you some other options when a team is being pressured. Okay, and then how we can break it. So we have, let's do our transition one. Two? Yeah. So the focus of the drill, the focus of the drill, we have two trappers who are going to chase the rebound to slow transition. Okay. So we have two players who will start in the key with five. Wait before we start, guys. Not yet. No, 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 no. Not yet. Okay. So I have Taylor and Sky in the middle. They're mixed up with the five. And as soon as the ball is thrown up, they will trap and chase the rebounder. Okay. So we're creating a pressure situation where a team is taking away our transition break. And we want to break up the floor. We want to get wide. We want to go fast. And we want to get a quick score. Okay? So we have right now, and there's a few teams in our Canada West Conference that do this really well. So we practice it quite often. So let's just throw the ball up and stop. And then I'll explain the rest. So stop. So Faith gets a rebound. We're asking Taylor and Skye to pressure the ball. Okay? Their job is to stop the transition and make a team play five on five. Okay, 
So offensively, we're asking our players now to open up the floor, get wide. Okay, we have, so who's our right wing? Who's our left wing? Okay, and then we're gonna read the ball. Now, Britt's job to break the pressure is to call for a relay. And we want her to angle off the rebound. Okay, now Faith knows when she gets trapped, she has a dribble, she can make the trap move. She can pivot around, hook over, split it. But we want to be, we want to make quick decisions coming off that trap. Now, we have two defenders who are working on net or basket, uh, like Kirby talked about. And then we have a short safety where we want to slow the ball. Okay, not run at the ball, but slow the ball. Once the ball comes out of the trap. Okay, so let's go right back to the beginning again. So this drill for us goes five on four up the floor and then it's five on five coming back. So we're going to insert our full court man-to-man -man defense and we're going to have the offensive team at that end come back in our press break. So you can see the whole drill. So it's five on four up, five on five back. This is our fifth person fifth person who will step in the drill uh, on the way back. Okay, ready? Here we go. Good, double, 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 good. Go, look, take a look, lead it, good. Ah, uh, stay on the rim. Good play, play, here you go, five and five, go, go. Look up, look up, look up. Good, and stop. Okay, so let's, I'm going to go do it in parts again. Okay, so let's set up the drill. Switch. Switch. Yep. So you can run the clock on this. You can keep score. You can make this drill very, very competitive. Okay, so um, let's, let's go through it really slow now, guys. So let's rebound and stop. Go. So we got a rebound. Good, we have a double. Okay, so the first thing that I have filling are the wings. So I have Megan going out and I have Lena going out. Okay, carries our relay. Okay, and then what Taylor's reading is the side of the ball. So this runs into our full court transition offense. Okay, so the ball comes to carry. We're going to do this slow. Freeze. Good. So right now, Britt's job is to slow the ball. Okay, so we have transition defense taking part now. We have Peyton who's on the rim on the basket, on the net. She cannot allow anybody to get a layup on her. She's defending the rim, okay? So now, what's gotta happen is Faith and Kaylee have to decide how they're picking up, okay? And they're gonna follow to see where that pass goes, the first one. So if the pass goes to Tay, then Faith is in position to pick up and read. You're still protecting the net, okay? So there's a lot of pieces in this transition drill where we can teach kids to defend and also on offense, how to score. Okay, let's go back. So our kids know, okay, our kids know when they come up the right side in transition, how we're running our offense. If we punch it down the middle with the guard, they know how to play off each other. And if they go up the left side as well, they know what they're doing. So it's really important your kids understand when you do a drill like this, what are their jobs? Okay, go. Drop, 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 drop. Good. Look up. Head up. Good. What do we got? Good. Look up, look up, look up. Okay, and stop. So we transitioned up the floor. Okay, and the ball was on the wing. Okay, show me where we are. We're, we're here with the ball. Ball got reversed, where are we supposed to be? Okay, in line with the key. Okay, what's our option when the ball gets reversed, girls? Okay, so the ball comes here. Where's my ball screen? Where are you supposed to be, Katie? In the corner. Okay, we're, we're in our season right now, so I'm not allowing any slippage. We're two weeks from league play, okay? So I'm making sure right now, even in a small practice like this, we need to be doing things well. Okay, you guys know what you're supposed to do. Let's do it again. Let's go right from the top. Okay, 
Okay, lots of talk. Talk on defense. Make sure we have a double on the ball. Let's feel the pressure on the rebounder. Let's go. Good. Pressure, pressure. Come on, come on, come on. Relay. Where's my relay? Good. Look up, look up, look up. Get rid of that ball. Okay, and stop. Live moments. This is what happens in a game. Okay, these are live moments. Okay, again. Good, double, 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 come on. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Okay, and stop. Okay, let's go back, give the ball to Britt. Okay, where's my trail ball screen? Okay, I know it's five on four. Where should you be on a, on a trail ball screen? Right in that corner. Okay, good spacing, guys. Okay, play from there, go. Play from there. Come on, attack, attack. Read, read. Good play, let's go, look up. Okay, do you ever have moments like that in the game, right, where you have a wide open break, like a breakout layup, right? So this happens, this is live. Okay, they, the transition defense, they have to be able to talk through it. Okay, girls, we haven't had a score down there yet, so we can't show our press break and our full court pressure. Okay, let's get a score. Here we go. Relay, come on, good passes. Look, look. Good, here we go. Good, where's my middle cut? Good. Good. Play it, play it, play it. Good, let's go, come on, come on, come on, pick up. Where are you in your press break, guys? And stop. Sorry. That's my way to get their attention very quick. Uh, white take the ball to bounds. We had a turnover, what do we do automatically? Okay, so one of our cues, if we ever turn the ball over in our press break, because we saw that full court pressure, that man to man. Okay, the way we break it, the way we change it up, right away we huddle. It changes the look that we have. Play from there, guys. You guys know what to do. Good, where's my middle? What are you in? What are you in? Left side. What are you in? Lucy, come on, where are you? Where are you? Okay, you got eight seconds, eight, seven, six, five, flash and dive, good job. Well done, Paige, well done. Okay, let's get one more in. Let's get a really good trap on that uh, rebounder. Good, good, come on, look up, good. There we go. Uh, box out, box out. Where are we? What are we in? Out of bounds there, Lucy. Out of bounds. Okay, out of bounds. Okay, press break. Nice job, Sky. Well done. Sean, make sure you fully pivot. Okay, and lead her to the net. Don't pass the defense. Okay. So that's kind of a drill that we'll run a lot. Okay. So, because uh, we, we do know that, for example, um, Manitoba, um, Alberta, UBC, we know that they either jam or trap the rebounder to take away transition. So we want to make sure we have a counter for that so that we can still attack and be fast, okay? And I like this drill because we go both ways, okay? You're getting your five on five in as well, okay? Um, let me have uh, five veterans on the floor. Uh, 
interesting uh, when we were listening to Coach Carter, he talked about using the whole cord and flipping every four minutes. Like, that's a great idea. And I know my assistant coaches have told me to do that many, many times. And I haven't listened. <laughs> and uh, having heard it again today, maybe I might start trying to do it. So let's start down this end. Okay, so we're going to be in press break. Uh, what I want to show you now... Um, one of the things that we do, because one of the things that we do, because we know when teams press, you need to have a full court press break. What if a team presses you three quarter court? You need to have a half court press break. And what if they trap you in your front court? You need to have a half court press break. So what I'm going to show you, and we're going to do it very quickly, because I know time is running out and that Vegas trip is up for grabs. Okay, I want to show you how we do uh, three parts to our press break. So we're just going to do a quick version. So we'll do, um, let's just do double middles in our regular press break there and back. And then we're going to do three quarter court, double middles. And then we're going to just walk it up. And when the ball goes into the wing, we'll set up where we get trapped on the wing. Good? Okay, here we go. Good. Talk, 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 talk. Good. Lots of talk. Good. That's it. Pivot fully. Good. Okay, now we're in three-quarter court. Three-quarter court. Okay. So three-quarter court, we're going to move our press break up. Once carry reaches the attack line, we start playing. Good. Well done. Okay, let's go. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay. Now we've taken the ball out. We're full court. We know that they're now not going to press this full court. Okay. We know that they're not going to press this three quarter court. So we're going to come down into our front court into motion. Go. Ball's in. Okay. We see the floor. We're in motion. Okay. Once the ball comes in here, there's a trap. Go. Where, where do we go? Ball's trapped. Good. So our rule is when we're trapped in the half court or in the front court, so the ball's in the wing, our post has to come outside the three-point line, okay, right outside. Our guard has to be outside the volleyball court line, and then we split the rim. Okay, I would even have Megan come in a little closer so that we can make sure if we are trapped on the wing, we have an option, okay? If we can hit Megan for a layup right away, perfect. Okay, if we can hit Tay, we get her to attack. Okay, maybe if we hit Sky, okay, out of the trap, she can go to the rim or see Megan. Anytime the ball goes back to the guard, all we simply do is just punch. And so we'll, we'll, we move off the ball. So if the ball comes to carry, let's see how we're gonna move. Go, punch it, good. Good. Okay, so I wanted to show you that because some coaches will only have a full court press break when a team pressures you. You have to prepare for all three scenarios. I know at the community level you don't press, but if you are a high school coach, okay, it's important that you prepare your kids so that if the what if comes up, okay, you're prepared for it. I have about six minutes. So this is an opportunity, I wanted to kind of throw it out there. If there's anything that you would like at any part in the game where you feel there's pressure and you want to know how to break it, and if you want to drill for it, I can maybe help you with it. Any thoughts up there? Okay. Okay, let's go. After a score. Okay, so let's set up our press break. So match up man to man, white. Okay, a few things that we'll do. If we know a team is pressing full court man to man, okay, let's go one four. So let's go above the three point line though. Okay, so right away if we know that a team is pressuring us tight, they're all over us, okay, man to man, 
what we set up here is our one four press break and one of the kids is designated to go long so that's an option right away to get a quick layup and take the pressure off us okay so you guys who are you going to send okay so because noonan is going long she's going to be the one stepping to the ball and then taking off the other three kids will step away and all three will come back to the ball okay so let's go long to megan ready Go. Okay, so that's a fun option. If there's pressure and you want to get it in bounds. Okay, let's go back to 1 4. One of the things we talk to our players about when you're being pressured, okay, make sure you greet the ball. Okay, go to the pass. Okay, so if we're, say, we're in our 1 4 and the outside goes long. Okay, and, and Carrie has to work to get open. So what we're asking her to do when she's being denied is to step in and seal, and then when Taylor passes, we grease. Okay, so that's another way you can focus on getting the ball inbounds. The what if, what if Peyton comes off and doubles Carrie? Okay, because that will happen in, uh, with pressure. Okay, again, you want to try to make sure you get it in. I would take Carrie away from the ball. If my guard is being doubled, then I would have Carrie move away and take the two. So you guys go with her. And then this would be my two guard or my three guard who would then try to V cut in towards the elbow, towards the elbow, Sean, and then hold the seal. And then we have a one-on-one -on -one again. Okay, so we take the pressure off the guard. And then from there, we'd run our normal press break. Good, good question. Anything else you wanna see out of that? Or is that good? Good. Anything else? Okay, I'll give you one last situation. Oh, another question? Sorry? When the player at the corner is trapped. Corner, trap. Okay. Okay, let's come down here on offense. So we're in, um, we're in motion. Let's see. Let's go wheel, because wheel we have a corner. Now we don't have a, normally have a corner on the right side, so I'll show you a corner on the left side, just so that we're staying within our offenses. So let's say the ball goes into Sean, and Sean gives it to Megan in the corner. Okay, let's say Katie goes to trap. Then the rule here would be that we come outside the volleyball court line, okay? In this situation, we could leave our post. Okay, I would send uh, carry up at an angle and I'd probably send Tay up at an angle tough place to get trapped okay if they take let's, let's deny here okay good now I do definitely don't want to hide we talk about three in a row I wouldn't want Tay to be three in a row to that okay so right now probably what would happen is Peyton would probably take this then I would have Sky just move up the lane and you can have Tay tuck under, right? You gotta give her an option based on an angle to the ball, okay? They can't take everything away because there's only five on five, so if there's a trap, there's definitely somebody open, the key is the spacing. Yeah, does that help? Okay, do I have time or? Yeah, I got two minutes. Another question? Clock? Oh, I have three minutes. Thank you, Adam. I didn't see that. Okay, let's do our uh, out of bounds thing that we worked on yesterday. Okay, so three on three. So let's go Tay, Megan, Taylor, and give me three whites Megan to guard. Or oh, sorry, Tay, Tay, uh, Megan, and Carrie. Three defenders. Okay, you guys are watching. Okay, so in our game the other night against uh, Wayne State, on Tuesday night, uh, there was, gosh, how much time was left? Five seconds? Three seconds. Three seconds was left in the clock. Okay, and we were up. So we were up two or one? Three. Gee, see, they, they know more information than I do. Okay, and so we knew they were going to foul. And this was the first opportunity we got to practice this live, okay, to make sure you get the ball in and you know you're going to get fouled. So what we had our players do was huddle across from the ball. Uh, let's, let's go all five so it looks better. 
So give me four, two more red, two more white. Good, yeah. Okay, so just a point of emphasis, we send somebody to the hoop, and then we have the other three split. So we, we send Sky to the, the rim, okay? One of them has to veer out to the wing, the other has to veer out at an angle to the ball, and the other one's in the middle, okay? And so we practice making sure we can get the ball in in that moment, because you need to get it in and you need to hold it so that you can be fouled. Okay, you ready? Start, start with the huddle first. Okay, go. Good, and hold it, good. So we work on sealing and greeting. So it's teaching your players, let's go back and do that in slow-mo. So when Taylor made her cut off to the right, she had faith to her side. So she was sealing and asking for a pass. Now a pass that I would want to make sure that it goes in and to our hands would be a bounce pass. Okay, so let's make sure if we're tight like that and seal, it's a bounce pass. Here we go. Seal it, good, and bounce pass, good. Okay, something small, okay, but getting that ball in and making sure you greet it, okay, is really important against pressure, especially if you know you're gonna, they're gonna foul you. I guess that's my time. Um, I hope you were able to get a couple things out of that. Uh, thank you to my kids for coming out and helping me out. And all the best to you guys. Thanks, guys.